How often should you be buying new pillows? According to the one cleaning expert, way more often than you probably are. By the way, is that cleaning expert Mike Lindell <laughs> trying, to, trying to sell those bags of My crushed pillow. foam? Hey, Mike Lindell here. Uh, the sleep expert posted a couple of tests to see if it's time to throw your pillows out. First, fold it in half and hold it for 30 seconds. If it springs back right to being flat, it's still good. The other is the saddle test. Put the pillow over your arm. If it flops, it's time to toss it. She says pillows should be washed often and replaced every one to two years. So, Marina, how long has it been since you bought pillows? Okay, so I, I was forced to buy a new pillow just recently because my pillow was so debilitated. <laughs> it, it basically had nothing in it anymore, and I was having neck pain. I, I'm very picky with my pillow, so much so that if I sleep at a hotel, I don't even use the pillows because it just it doesn't work for me. I had to get, I'm, they need to be really thin and very specific. So for me, you got to keep it because they don't make the kind of pillow that I like. This freaked me out, uh, because mainly because I, I haven't changed my pillow. God, I, I don't think ever. See? Uh, all I, I do wouldn't is expect I, that from you. Well, no, see, but I have a lot of pillows. So what I'll do is I, when it gets old, I'll put it to the back. I have at least probably 14 to 15 pillows on top of my bed. How I big like to is set your it up. bed? Yeah, I, you set, you make it like a display at least. 14, okay, 15 what, pillows? What size bed do you have? It's a queen. Okay, now I will say this, guys. Guy is not a very tall man. So, okay. uh, you know, you Thanks. think 14 pillows, you could probably fit comfortably yeah. on it. And then every pillow has a certain purpose, you know? And if you have an old pillow, and you know, it's like the way it smells, mm -hmm. the way it feels. But sometimes I want a, you know, more firmer pillow, so then I'll switch are it the, out. Are these all sleep pillows, or are they throw pillows mixed in, I would in say too? maybe five are throw pillows, but outside of that, yeah, the rest are sleep pillows. What? How long does it take you to make your bed? A long time. That's a good question. And yeah. you got to take them all off and yep. then take them put them back up? Well, it's like a chore. It's like, yeah, this you know. is not I, practical. <laughs> you need one pillow, folks. <laughs> one pillow. I, I actually did, so our test, we call it dead pillow, live pillow. Mm -hmm. And it's that one where you, if it doesn't spring back immediately, yeah. it's dead. It's out of here. Because neck pillow? pain, as someone who's been to the chiropractor yeah. a lot, like we, we just don't play in the house. I don't let the kids sit up and do their iPads and stuff. They always have to have neck support. The other day I posted a picture and someone's like, do I see an armrest in your bed? I'm like, yeah, that's my bed chair. I actually have a chair <laughs> with uh, foam and it has armrest and it has a cup holder. And so I use that if I know I'm going to be there for longer than five minutes. And so this is serious stuff though, but the hygiene part and your spine and your neck, it's important. She has a chin strap too to hold her head up and make sure that the spine's aligned. I do have a aligned. chin strap. <laughs> and I thought I had issues. Yeah. <laughs> no. My chin strap though, that's, that's Asian skin care. That's Kate Beauty. <laughs> The thing yeah. to hold up the double chin, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. It's, you put it, I gave one to Sue Palka. We shared them. Like, you put them over here, and you go like this, and you keep it on overnight. I, I and tell especially you. if you eat a lot of sodium the night before, I, it helps. I've used, I've used them before. Great. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've used them too. So yeah, I, I got rackets. I guess you're throwing so down. Gotta, you know, do what you do. Hey, coming up, pretending to do something no one really likes doing in real life. Sounds crazy, but what if it was free? We'll explain what the hell we're talking about after this.